everyone in this video we are going to solve another problem based on second law of motion that is newton's second law of motion so here is the problem which reads a tennis player returns with his racket a tennis ball of mass 100 grams coming towards him with a speed of 162 kilometers per hour if the ball returns with the same speed and it remains in contact with the racket for 0.1 seconds find the force exerted by him on the ball so at uh, there is a tennis player who hits a tennis ball which is of 100 grams with uh, with a force that we need to calculate the uh, tennis ball was coming towards him with a speed of 162 km per hour and it returns with the same speed that is 162 km per hour and it remains in contact with the racket for only 0.1 seconds now we need to find the force that the player has exerted on the ball so first of all let us list out whatever is given in the question the mass of the tennis ball is is 100 grams which is not in si you can see that is grams so we have converted it to uh, kilograms which is in si so 100 grams equals 0.1 kg now the initial velocity is given to be 162 km per hour final velocity is given to be 162 km per hour as well and the time of contact of the racket with the ball is given to be 0.1 seconds now here we see that the initial and the final velocities are given in terms of kilometers per hour which is not in si so we'll get these converted to si first and then we'll move ahead and solve the problem so first let us convert it to uh, meters per second so for that we have this relation over here that is 1 kilometers per hour equals 5 by 18 meters per second so 162 kilometers per hour will be equal to 5 by 18 multiplied by 162 which gives 45 meters per second so here initial velocity equals to final velocity which is found to be 45 meters per second in si now let us move ahead and solve the problem since we have already got the uh, these things converted to si units now the acceleration of the body is given by v minus u by t and in order to find the force uh, acting on a body we first need to find the acceleration of the body because force equals mass into acceleration the mass of the ball we already have but here we need to find the acceleration from the other things that the question has given to us like the final initial velocity and the time taken by the body so here the acceleration is v minus u by t that is the change in velocity divided by time taken so here the initial and the final velocities are the same that is 45 meters per second but the direction in which the final and the initial velocities act are opposite that is the ball strikes the racket in a particular direction and it returns back in the opposite direction in which it was coming towards the racket so here one velocity that is the uh, let's say if we take final velocity to be positive then the initial velocity we have to take it as negative since these two are in opposite directions and if we take the uh, initial velocity to be positive then the final velocity has to be taken as negative so here we have taken the initial velocity to be negative so here 45 minus of minus 45 divided by 0.1 second which was the time of contact of the racket and the ball so here we have found the acceleration to be 90 by 0.1 which is 900 meters per second square so this is the acceleration which was imparted to the ball by the tennis racket now that we have already found the acceleration of the ball we can go ahead and find the force that has been uh, acted upon uh, by the racket onto the ball so let's do that we know that the force exerted by the tennis player on the ball is equals to m into a that is the mass into acceleration mass of the ball we know it is 0.1 g uh, 0.1 kilograms multiplied by the acceleration that is 900 meters per second square that we have found out just now so here we have the force to be 90 newton so the force exerted by the racket onto the ball is found to be 90 newton so i hope 
this is uh, this solution of this problem was fully understandable to you thanks for watching tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning